Huh. Never seen that room before. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? There. I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get it. That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. I thought Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Lee's journal. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. What are you hiding, Lee? Lee's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? He sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon, until he became one. This is all about Norman Osborne. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. Oscorp lost a lawsuit about improper clinical trials years ago. Did they cover this up? I've never heard of it. Can feel 
feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of... Creepy. Can feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. Oh, this is the folder MJ found at the auction house. I wonder what it means. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Phew. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. Okay, through the floor grate. Now, how do I get out of here? Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. 
Who knows what they've planned next? I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff. in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? Howard. Long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, rezoned for commercial. We had to move into Feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them, but with my bad leg and all... You know what? I get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? that? Oh, thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call. Yuri, me again. I was about to say, Lee's after something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay. We'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait. Why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, 
it's all connected. There's more, but I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah, see ya. Dinner? Huh. What should I cook? Now? This is my divining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool. Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. I guess I can stop by just for a minute. 1043, we have a hostage situation involving a tourist bus. Location is north end of Chinatown. Today is a day for somber reflection. A morning, honoring fallen heroes like Jefferson Davis. But it's also a day to vow. It stops here. Some people say I blame everything on Spider-Man. Well, I don't blame him for the bombing. That cowardly act is squarely the responsibility of whoever did it. Oops, sorry. We're gonna keep New York safe. We can no longer tolerate the kind of lawlessness Spider-Man and his ill represent. This is our city. By God, we're gonna take it back. How can I fail at pigeon catching? Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. We really need to get better about organizing. Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. You ready? Everything okay? Damn it! This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a... Well, I know who you're not voting for in the next election. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <laughs> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Uh, why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. So, uh, 
Hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? We did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Call from MJ. Doctor, I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, dinner at MJ's. Low expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. I guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. All units, there's an active pursuit of a box truck believed to have a bomb. Incident was reported near the meatpacking district. like putting my skills to good I have to tell you Triple J I used to think you were exaggerating the danger to the city but after the city hall bombing I gotta admit you were right gotcha. a lot of people have been telling me that congratulating me but I don't want to I would have loved to have been wrong or better yet those in a position of power would listen to me and done something, but they didn't, and I'm not sure they'll listen now. Unless concerned citizens like you and I make ourselves impossible to ignore. Stand up! Take your city back! That's the only way we can ever be sure that justice will be done. That, and listening to me every day! Hey, Howard, I think I found one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty Gray Flex, might have just left a stain on my suit? Claire, guy's a little devil, <laughs> but he's a charmer. Give him a pat on the head and point him towards Feast. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find.
rock, to scream, to live in fear and pain. Us, shoot away. Funny, my fear of heights didn't... Ha! <laughs> a pigeon! Oh, come back, little birdie! in the West Village. Demons are firing on CCP Bravo. Need backup. Not getting much coverage. I should look for more towers to activate.
Peter. You are not going to believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put their shit away? Bet it was happy. Martin Lee's really paying the boss? Yeah. Yo, we Rick. build this war base for Lee. Lee finances the boss's new venture. Need to get into that office. Well, you better clean your slag off that sloppy well. Boss sees that, he'll be pissed. You tried any yet? What are they building? Is this all for Lee? So what's the boss doing with what the money for this Lee job? Is this all for Lee? You Careful. tried any yet? Hey, I heard something. Hey. What the hell was that? Nothing. Dude, Damn, I'm being paranoid. Easy does it. This place is creeping me out. What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run? Someone there. Wait. Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Where is it? I swear I left it over here.
Maybe I can distract him. Hey, anyone pick up more beer after our last run? Is it? I swear I left it over here. The hell was that? Hey! Wait! Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Must be to my right. Need to move careful through here. Those barrels seem important. The hell? Come. Someone there? What's in these? Boss, come on! We'll never notice! Tombstone. You're right, Rick. <sighs> Won't notice? Cause it won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. A disappointment. <laughs> and now I need a new welder. Building for Lee. But here we go. GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. 
Get the gear for my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> it smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the Great Dumpling Catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I know, and in January, too. <laughs> Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, Lee clearly has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves devil's breath. Whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking... What if we teamed up? What, what, you want to be my sidekick? Like a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Charles Standish. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait, you don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Sorry to cook and run. Did, did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Ah. Uh... Where do you want me to, uh... Just the couch is fine. <laughs> uh, see you later? Yeah. This is a dream you have no idea. Hey, it's me. Curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp, single, known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, he's gotta be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So, are we partners now? Because it sure feels like we are. It's partners! That uh, sounds good! Okay. See ya, partner. I got an interesting tip today. Remember that barbaric beast named the Rhino? Apparently last night he almost escaped from his cell in the raft. How, you ask? Well, no one there seems to know, but they assure me he's been relocated to a more secure cell. Now, I'm no expert on Supermax prisons, but isn't the whole point of them that there isn't anything else more secure? I mean, he's a 700-pound maniac with an indestructible horn. If there's a more secure cell, why wasn't he in it?
Ground teams, this is Control. Need a sit rep from the Garment District. APC under fire. Repeat, we are taking fire. Police look like they could use some help. There's probably more of them inside. You guys stay here. Somebody was in a hurry. Spider-Man! You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish, fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse, top floor. Okay, sit tight. So glad you're here. I can't find my car. I could have sworn I parked on this level.
You guys work here too? This building is serious about parking enforcement. Fight! A for effort! Elevator won't work. They know I'm here. 
But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. If I get closer... Steve, you're my Wait, Okay. Stay out of the light. Nice and easy. Tall building. Fire bombs? Seriously? There's Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out. He sounds nervous. Maybe I should take him out.
Clear. Hope Standish is all right. Let's try this again. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Payroll information. On a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? 
I, I honestly don't know. Down! Come on, come on! Wait, the elevator! <gasps> Okay? Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. You know, as elevator shafts go, this is pretty nice. <laughs> hey, Yuri. You okay? Yeah. But I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? Uh, Yuri? That's fair. What happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? They were looking for a name. You got a pen?
Go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius' lab. Let you know what I find on Delaney. Ground teams, report on the situation in the Flatiron. Patrol, checkpoint under assault. It's the demons. brand of conflict resolution. This is from Doc. Sorry to call so late. My mind's bursting with ideas. We've been looking too small, Peter. Why replace missing limbs with facsimiles when we can improve upon them? People who've lost an arm understandably want it back, but we can give them something better. The human body doesn't need to be our default. We can go so far beyond it. Just some thoughts to conjure with. Doc's really giving it both barrels. He doesn't burn himself out. Hey, do you have time to check something out for me? No, but if you ask nicely... Just got a call about a suspicious-looking box on a rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. I could call in the bomb squad, but if it's just some kid's science project... Yeah, I know. Budget crisis, yada, yada, yada. So... Uh, will you please check it out? There's the magic word. I hope it's some kid's science project. Man, I miss those days. School projects are so much easier than real-life projects. Demons robbing an armored car. Gentlemen, that is not how an ATM works. That's not even an ATM. aren't just a street gang. City Hall. A couple more cool outfits and we can start a pro wrestling league.
getting bold. Military grade. Weird. Spider Man, so you found one of my recon points. Who is this? Wrong question. The correct one is Can you stop the bombs I planted? Mystery Man's got recon points spread all over the city. This computer's tracking bombs around the district, and they're about to go off. I gotta move. Gotta be quick. Bombs could go off any second. Okay, took care of that one. One more. Some kind of sick game to you? Games are for kids, and I'm a professional. And I get paid. Like it. Guess your client wasted their money. Sometimes information's worth more than money. And I've learned plenty watching you. Not getting much coverage. I should look for more towers to activate. MJ, what did you find out about Isaac Delaney? Check out the picture I just sent. Which one is Delaney? I don't know. I guess you'll have to go to the party to find out. Good thing I already have a costume. Call from Aunt May. Peter, I spoke to Miles' mother, and she loved the idea of him working here. Oh, the poor woman's grieving herself while trying to be strong for her son. She needs some time to just grieve, and he needs to see that life's still worth living. That was a very thoughtful suggestion, Peter. The kind. Hi! We can fight, or hear me out, we can barbecue! Shadow 
Whew. Getting brisk out here. Better go in. Okay, the people in the top floor apartments are really annoyed with you right now. Okay, you need to finish listening to May's voicemail. Peter, I spoke to Miles' mother, and she loved the idea of him working here. Oh, the poor woman's grieving herself while trying to be strong for her son. She needs some time to just grieve, and he needs to see that life's still worth living. That was a very thoughtful suggestion, Peter. The kind that would have made them proud. Okay, I think I'm gone. No need to thank me, Sable dudes. Although it's kind of rude you didn't. And without further ado...